Hello and welcome to this video, which introduces you to Hobilo. Um, welcome to Hobilo, and this is the online platform which runs my online user group, Meeting C++ Online, which is, you know, this is the next meeting for it on Tuesday. And it also contains some of the basic elements for the conference, and I'm going to give you a quick tour through them. Um, as you already see, um, there are some banners flying through uh, which are the conferences and my online user group. And if you click on them, you land exactly there. Um, and now um, I'm going to scroll down and you see that's the agenda of that evening. So this is kind of where you see the sessions. Okay, these are sessions and you can join them. Um, I'm a host, so you can right now see them that I can join them as a host. And uh, yeah, so on that evening, we're hosting Daisy Holman and she'll be giving her CPPCon talk uh, what you can learn from being too cute. Uh, really looking forward to Tuesday, and if we scroll down a bit more, we see like more future things. So um, this is a featured uh, room uh, where we're going to have probably after her talk a Q and A. So we're going to have some questions answered after her talk, but at some point we have to end the recording, and when the recording is ended, the session becomes at, in this online platform more or less useless. So I'm you know then going to shift the conversation to that room. Um, yeah, there we see uh, her. So if you click on that, you get to a profile and there are some exhibitors that some testing for meeting C++ uh, 2021. Um, these are the two sponsors, which are uh, platinum sponsors. Thank you for that. Thank you for Avast and thank you for Techia Bloomberg for that. And um, I'm later going to, you know, when, when those booths are set up, I'm going to copy them into the main event. Um, Okay, so the agenda obviously shows you like, no, what's what's up next. And here we see that when the meeting begins, there will be the welcome message. And um, there's various things you can filter this or you can search it. And um, the next point is like the exhibitors, like, you know, the sponsors. Thanks for sponsoring. You can look at the booths. Um, I look at my own booths. Uh, yeah, this is just a setup to know what, what to use, you know, that they can answer the sponsor questions. Um, let's go to the launch. That's where it gets interesting. The launch is one of the core features which we use in Hobilo. For the conference, that's uh, the hallway track where we hang out and meet with folks. The central meeting place at the conference is this launch. And on the other hand, during our user group meetings, um, the lounge is basically when we start like half an hour early the meetings you can just come there hang out meet people have a conversation meet friends online uh, that you maybe met through conferences your user group or online you know um and i'm gonna join this table where i already have uh, my test account sitting and yeah so if you want to join a table you need to click one of those uh boxes like one of those seats and now it will uh, yeah, show me this is uh, the microphone and this is uh, your, your audio settings. And um, then you click join and then you see that it loads. And here we are in the setting and this pop-up is new that you have to give the permission, which I did. And now you can talk to the other person. In my case, that's the lamp upstairs, uh, which sits in front of my camera. Hi, lamp. Um, yeah, so one attendee brought up that you cannot see the names when you kind of, you know, hang here in this. Um, that's true. And I already gave feedback to a video to that, but there's a different mode where you see the names and this mode um, can be nicer for some folks. Maybe it's more used for you. Um, and the other mode is more laid back where you just, you know, have a conversation with folks. And if you know the folks that you don't need their names, but it would be nice to have them. Let me show you like a place where you can uh, find them. Um, if you go into the menu, uh, there's a chat, as you see. And also there's a people tab. And here you can see um, that there is, uh, you know, the other account sitting there. But of course, there is no indication because you see the video, you don't see the, the icon or the, what they have. So, yeah. Um, but again, then there is this, um, this view where you can see the names. And uh, yeah, you can, of course, you mute, mute yourself, which you probably should do if you're not talking in an online setting as we're all used to now. You can turn off your camera if you don't want to be seen or just don't have the right lights. 
um, you can share something to demo. So demos on those tables are possible and are wanted. If you want to show code, that's the place to go. And there are some settings which are just basically the, the, the settings you saw when I joined the table. Um, also, that's what, what I'm going to press when I leave the, here in a second. Um, I want to point quickly out the meeting timer as a feature of Remo, which you see down here in the taskbar, which I cannot turn off. It is a feature of the launch, and that's what limits the meetings in the launch. If you join a table, you see this timer going down, and that's the length of the meeting which goes on there. Um, I, I want to point out that you can join all conversations where a free table is, okay? There is no such thing as a closed table, and you cannot close off a table. So by default, all tables are public, and you can join them. Um, I'm going to offer like tables for two and for four and for eight and for 16. That's what is possible in the launch with Remo, uh, but also Remo is Rubido. And um, so if you want to like have a more private conversation, you can take a two table or a four table. Um, when this timer counts down and I set it to the maximum that you have a long conversation possibly, then you're just kicked out and you will be in the launch view the same as when you leave the table. And then you just join the table again, and the timer starts again, and you have another hour to talk. That's really not that much to 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 you know to know about. Um, now I'm leaving it. So that's basically also what happens. Uh, you get a pop up telling you that the meeting has ended, and then you are back in the launch. Okay. And then you know um, you just join the same table or join a different table. Um, the advantage that this has is that somebody sitting at a table but being inactive gets kicked out after a time and then doesn't join again and so people don't block seats on tables like um imagine there is a table with with i don't know bjarne with sean uh, with all the famous people you know and there's just always people sitting on and you want to have a spot and that's your chance when the meeting timer ends uh what i cannot show you right now is um when there is a meeting ongoing that's always when at least two people sit on this table, then this timer gets started. Um, when you are in the lounge and you see already a table where a meeting is ongoing, you can see the timer from here, from the lounge, okay? Not, you don't have to join the table to see that the timer is like 10 minutes to go and then you, you know, people might end the conversation or join the table again. Usually they join, that's our experience with the last meetings. Uh, let me quickly go to rooms. I, I would like to show that feature to you, but I can't join that room right now. I probably will set up a different video where we'll make a, a room joinable. Um, the, the room is very similar to the other things I've showed you. Um, the room is either moderated or it's free, and then everybody can just join and share the video and chat and, and talk. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to go in as a host into my welcome message. Now again, we see that uh, something is loading. And my camera is turned off. Let's leave it that way. And now it's loading. That's it. Um, yeah. And here I can, you know, add various things. Like, um, yeah, this is the, the video setup basic behind the stage. I, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to make a video later. What I wanted to show you is this is setting. And I hope I can only come here to uh, to join that through through the studio. Um, so there's very thing. There's a few panel where people ask questions. Um, and you see, this is uh, the, the session. Um, you can take notes and um, yeah, the general chat. And yeah, then you can see like who's here. Well, that's me. And there's a general event, there's a general event feed, chat to set up. So um, there's, there's to explore with Rubido. Uh, um, the eviction managers. Um, or you have Shed when you want to set up. And this is so below. Um, I'm looking really forward to host a lot of meetings and different versions of things on online in the online world here. Um, so thank you for watching, and I'm happy to see you soon.
state. And maybe a lot of you I will see in the conferences. Thank you. And with this, we end the video.